Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mr. Bubble and we are Bubble. Welcome to this very quick time lapse where I'm just gonna voice over what was going on through my head to create this top frame. Let's go. Alright, so first um, I just placed a random picture that I had on the screen just to get the camera angle right. I knew what kind of uh, camera angle I wanted to do. Again, it's inspired by Toros Cose and Belfield. So I knew what I was going to do. I knew that I need a lot of a lot of data and it's one of the reasons why I used the Toros uh, Kosei Kitbash in the background for the, 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 the holder. I then started, uh, I, ne I knew I need, this is a terminal, so there is nothing better to use the Kitbash for terminal. Again, this is uh, another thing I like to do early in the process of creating a cell frame because I don't know how the colors will go. And usually I only work with two to three colors. So what I do is I create a shape layer and then I start and I put a color and um, yeah, I start just linking all the color to that so that if I need to change the color later on, all I need to do is change the color in the shape layer. So now as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm selecting different um, terminals and putting them somewhere. So for now I just mask and to save a little bit of uh, RAM <clears throat> and memory space, what I do is I take that kit bash and I try to minimize as much as possible the composition. So I use the crop comp here. So the error data is obviously in orange. So that's and the one that is active is orange. So as you can see for now, I'm not really bothered by animation. So what I do is I only mask and put it somewhere. Obviously, this is not what you want to do when you work on a full animation project. What you want to do is actually go select whatever kit pass you like and uh, save it in Illustrator alone and then import it. So here what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to get a lookup table. Usually what I do is I go through a lot of them and the one I like, I keep it. And uh, I wanted to darken things a bit and bring up a little bit of the greens and reds. So that's what I did with the curve there. Also, I wanted to nail a little bit the bokeh and uh, the kind of uh, state of the color correction and the camera focus. And then I went and uh, tried to distort this. But obviously, I wanted something very stylized. So what I went, um, I imported this uh, glitch that I got from, again, Victor Craft, Toroskose. And uh, I just placed it there. Initially, I wanted it to be a displacement, but then I really liked how it looks like when you mosaic it and put it just in the background. It looks really good. But unfortunately, I forgot uh, I did not animate it in the final scene. That's something I'll probably have to do later on. And so now I'm just trying to get the, the color correction and the look the initial look uh, as close as possible. So I'm using the noise and uh, the sharpen. But I feel like the noise is too much, so I'm still deleting as much as possible of the noise. So now that I was happy, I made sure um, <clears throat> my project file is well organized because uh, I had a feeling that this is going to get really nasty. And I was right, this will get nasty later on as uh, you could see from the from the tutorial of this animation. And so <clears throat> right now what I'm doing is I'm just doing the, the, the very simple duplicate, put it in Z, turn down the opacity, duplicate, put it in, put it down, uh, turn down the opacity. It just gives you this, uh, this uh, HUD look you're looking from a table and so obviously i wasn't really happy with just putting the image of toros Kose there i believe that that's toros Kose, and uh, i just changed him to james bond and uh yeah i just liked it again why james bond i i had it on my desktop and i just used it and it looked great and so now what i'm trying to do uh, i'm trying to do a uh, displacement Obviously, the displacement uh, footage had to be in 3D as well, so that I can get it right. And then pre-compose. Yeah, displacement became a little bit uh, uh, troubling, but uh, yeah, once I pre-compose it, it was really alright. Again, I'm duplicating and uh, uh, I'm duplicating the entire comp 
in the project file and then I went inside and uh, made the changes mosaic instead of just you know duplicating it and put it in there put it there I wanted to add a new color just why not but then it didn't really work and so here what I tried to do for the terminal is that those highlights were too strong so I needed to turn them down so this is one thing you shouldn't shy away when you are doing some uh, uh, kit bashing just remove the, the things that you don't like and uh, yeah change it as much as you could so here uh, I went and I added this reticle to the main image So again, these are the pros of using a kit bash, and that's why I don't shy away anymore from using uh, vector craft kit bashes for my tutorials and projects in general. It's that it really wins you a lot of time. This would have taken me probably, instead of taking like a day of doing this, this would have taken me probably a month. And if it didn't work out, it would I would have just wasted time for nothing but with kit bash you really go fast and that's the same thing as you can see ashtorp with the with the, the akira project uh, it's basically the same thing it's a uh, kit bashing uh, jean majurabayev uh, jean urschel jean urschel is the same thing and uh toros Kose, the same thing uh, himself he uses a lot of kit bash uh michael wrigley uses a lot of kit bash so it's like all these names use kit bash for a reason and even and even uh in production for a studio in hollywood or a game so never shy away from kit bash they are made to gain you time and time is the biggest currency right now so yep just add more pictures to show that this is a terminal and uh yeah again if you're really interested in uh, seeing how this was animated please make sure you watch the tutorial my name is mr popo and i'll catch you guys later